Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some videos that went viral for all the wrong reasons. Guys, I just got back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take the Branzino. And he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. And I'm like, what the actual f I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my Branzino and see what happens. We were eating and once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just wanna pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of. You should have gotten the cheese and I blocked him. Okay, listen, I'm all for being picky, but like if the man doesn't want to pay $3 for cheese, he doesn't want to pay $3 for cheese. Maybe he thinks that that amount is too much for a slice of cheese. And it is, you can buy a whole pack of cheese for $3. Maybe it's just the principle. I thought you were gonna say something way, way worse than that. You're mad and you left the date because he didn't want to pay $3 for cheese? But wait, there's a response. Okay, then never mind. To be fair, I had the intention of paying $21 for this burger, so adding $3 for cheese was not worth it. But thank you for paying for dinner. Bye-bye, ta-ta. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's a fair point. Why get so angry about the fact that a guy doesn't wanna pay $3 for cheese? He seemed like a cute guy too, like, it's slim pickings in New York City, babe. I'm all for having high standards, but I'm also like, like don't be unrealistic and irrational about things like this. Like, I don't feel like that's a good reason to walk out of a date. I just genuinely don't. This is crazy to me. He didn't complain about the Branzino. He simply didn't feel like paying extra for cheese on his burger. Like, why is that a big deal? I don't get it. I thought this was gonna be about him commenting that your food was too expensive or not wanting to pay for Branzino. You're insane. <laughs> Like, dude, come on. You're gonna stay single with that attitude. I'm telling you right now. She didn't expect these comments. Burger guy one, Branzino girl zero. <laughs> the fact that he's still eating the burger. But he likes his burgers, all right? Maybe he doesn't feel like spending $25 US on a burger is worth it. Plus tip, give me a break. That is a lot. A restaurant with Branzino doesn't include cheese in their burgers, lol. <laughs> Girl, you left over $3 cheese? <laughs> She really thought everybody was gonna be on her side. Like, I, I don't know. I think that's a, it's a pretty dumb reason to walk out on a cute guy, I'm just saying. A cute guy who is level-headed. Listen, we don't like people who are cheap, but there's a difference between being cheap and being smart with your money. A lot of people like to think that rich people just spend money on whatever, okay? Real rich people are smart with their money. They don't spend, you know, $3 here, $3 there. They go and they make sure, they go through the credit card bill, they like, they make sure that they're spending money in a smart way. Why spend $3 on cheese when you don't have to? That's an awful way to treat someone, period. He dodged a bullet. <laughs> She really be out here thinking the internet would be on her side over some $3 cheese. <laughs> Phew, that guy lucked out. That was close. Justice for cheese, man. He can choose how he wants to spend his money. $3 for a slice of cheese is crazy. He didn't tell you not to get cheese. He just didn't want it for himself. Would have been different if he was telling her what to order. Oh wait, there's a part three. Oh, good. You know what it never was? That's serious. It was never The that story crazy. was fake? Quite frankly. <laughs> She enraged TikTok after venting about how her date declined to pay for $3 cheese, but the story was fake. So his response was fake too? I need to look this up. Doing my research. Oh, so he was totally freaking in on it, eh? He was in on it. Interesting. Wow. Is the only way to go viral on the internet is literally just to like live? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I got really, really heated. That took up a very large chunk of the video. This is why you shouldn't get so upset about <laughs> shit you see on the internet. I got punked. You got punked, I got punked. Everybody listen up. If you're underage, get out of the bar now. So I gotta come find you if you're getting a ticket. Just your one chance. 
It's your one chance! Don't, don't do that. Oh my f Oh my f Whoa! Literally everyone is underage! You have to send me this video. Dude, let's go. Wow. Oh. How did they all get in there? Is everyone just, is everyone under age or are you all just collectively Dude. deciding to leave? <laughs> oh, somebody's getting fined. Somebody's getting fined. That is literally insane. I cannot believe the whole bar walked out. Bartender getting the ticket. Oh, for realsies, everybody getting in trouble now. There goes all the tips for the night. Literally, I f like how everyone's leaving without paying. I didn't even clock that, holy crap. They all just walked out of there without paying. You know, the way that video was going, I was gonna say that those guys filming the video were gonna be underage, but no, they were like the only people left. They just seemed a little immature to me. Like who shouts that at a cop? <laughs> Probably someone who has a reason to be there, and that reason is they are of age. When mum thinks that spray paint is vinyl cleaner. <laughs> oh my god, what has she done? <laughs> <laughs> she has totally f***ed her whole car. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god, mum! What have you done? New look vinyl spray. Oh no! <laughs> Don't delay it. Motor spray it. Well, she did that. <laughs> oh hell no, mom! That is something that the kids are supposed to do. You're a grown adult. Oh man, speechless, speechless. She wished to sponge to speak. Hands up, everyone who still thinks that looks like vinyl cleaner. New look vinyl spray. You know, I, I think you actually do have a point. It does look like vinyl spray. I think it would be different if it was labeled like spray paint. Like that is genuinely confusing. I see a lawsuit that's very misleading. Honestly, like I would make them pay for it. Cause like that's, that looks like, why does that even exist? That looks like, you know, a, a vinyl cleaner bottle. Just finish the job and lighten up that interior. I mean, there's one way to go about it. Try WD-40, plenty of WD-40 hacks on TikTok. Interesting, okay, noted. I thought that I would just throw that in there in case any of y'all confuse vinyl spray for vinyl spray. <laughs> bro, I'm parked right here and there's this to just, and I'm like legit in the middle of nowhere, bro. I don't know what she's doing. So you mean to tell me that you pulled over in the middle of nowhere to have a nice little cry sesh on your own, and meanwhile, you got like this staring at you? <sighs> what is she doing? Maybe she wants to know if you're okay? I don't know why she gives me Pomeranian vibes. <laughs> She really said, still watching? She is, she's very much still watching. She wants to know what's, go what is, what is she doing? Someone said she looks like Jasper the doll and I can't, I see it. I'm wheezing, oh man, please tell me that y'all actually are on Jasper talk because 100%. She's either a Karen concerned or trying to have a cry sesh as well. Maybe you can cry together? No, because that's terrifying. <laughs> the way she honked at you like you were in her way in your parked spot. Not her honking like you were in her business. Did you think that she was gonna grab it or did you just drop it? Happy birthday to you. Oh, I think that he thought that she grabbed it. <laughs> he looked a bit confused. <laughs> he looked like Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus is stuck. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive costume, but bro did not think that through, did he? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, indeed. Imagine you're on the next floor almost getting kicked by cross of the Jesus. <laughs> it just pops out of the floor. And to think people want him to take the wheel. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Why let him take the wheel when he can't even handle the cross? First of all, I am almost sure that that was in Germany. Second of all, the hole is still there today. Still impacting the world 2000 years later. 
My parents started fighting on our family vacation and my dad rented a schooner and left. <laughs> Wait, what? Period, as he should, babe. I wish I could do that when my family fights on vacations, but sadly, we are usually in uh, all-inclusive and there's really no escape. <laughs> I'd be running after him like Haley Bieber. Oh, shots fired. Can I jump on the back of that scoot? This is me. I'ma have a good time. Y'all can stay here and argue. It really do be like that. Like, it's like, really? We couldn't get through one vacation without fighting? Nah, I'm gonna ride off into the sunset on a scoot. You ever cry so hard you wake up like this? It is so bad, I wanna give you a zero, but that's not possible. So I give you a one. Holy, oh, oh, that is, that looks like allergies. Are you allergic to your own tears by any chance? Good God, girl, what happened? First year vet med at Cambridge happened. 2022 was me not thriving. Holy. No, literally every time I cry, I'm convinced I'm allergic to my own tears. I mean, they are a little salty. And you know what else is salty? You, cause the video's over.